Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into something that has genuinely changed the game for me as a developer lately. If you're anything like me and you spend a ton of time coding, you know this struggle. You know the feeling. You're deep in the zone, writing code, everything's clicking. And then, bam, you hit that moment. You need to use a function from a library you don't touch every day. Or you just can't remember the exact syntax for something. Or you need a specific working example to see how it's done right instead of figuring it out from scratch. And what's the go-to move? Right. You drop what you're doing, minimize your editor, or open a new tab if you're lucky, and head to the browser. Google. Good old Stack Overflow. The official documentation, which, let's be honest, can sometimes feel like trying to read a dictionary in a foreign language. And this is where the great documentation quest begins. You search, you dig, you open 10 tabs, maybe more. You find something. It's either outdated, or it's incomplete. Or the code example looks promising, but it was written five years ago for a different version, and it just doesn't work anymore. And sometimes you find the right description, but without a solid example, you're still scratching your head, trying to figure out how to actually use it. And you're sitting there, wasting time, energy, and getting seriously frustrated just on this searching part. Instead of actually building stuff, writing code, doing what you enjoy, it totally kills your momentum, breaks your focus, pulls you right out of the flow. Trust me, it used to drive me crazy. And that's exactly where Context 7 MCP came into my life. And honestly, it's been a total lifesaver. So what is this thing? What's the big deal? Look, Context 7 isn't just another website you go to for help. Think of it as your ultimate documentation co-pilot, a super smart assistant that's built right into your code editor. It lives right there, integrated seamlessly into your workspace, where you spend all your time. And its core power, its main mission, is to instantly find and show you the exact, reliable, and most current documentation snippets and code examples you need, sourced directly from official, verified documentation. That last part is key. How does it actually work? Without getting too deep into the tech details, here's the clever bit. They basically take vast amounts of official docs, all those API references, guides, examples from popular libraries and frameworks, and they process it really intelligently beforehand. They break down all that information into small, bite-sized, meaningful chunks. And then, using some smart techniques like vector indexing, they create a kind of smart index for each chunk. This index allows the system to search based on the meaning and context of your code, not just simple keywords. So when you're coding and you need info, maybe you just typed a function name or you're hovering over a method, you just ask context 7, often through an integrated AI assistant in your editor, maybe by adding a phrase, like use context 7 to your prompt. And based on that smart index, it immediately pulls up the exact relevant paragraph from the official docs or the exact tested working example that you need for that specific piece of code. You're not getting a whole page you have to scroll through. You're getting the precise snippet you need right now. Okay, but why does this matter? What's the real impact? Why is context 7 such a game changer for developers? Let's talk about the actual benefits, the stuff that makes a difference in your day-to-day -day coding life. First off, the most obvious one, it saves you a ton of time. Like seriously, instead of constantly breaking your concentration, getting pulled out of your flow, to spend 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes digging through browser tabs, you get the answer in seconds. Think about how many times you do that in a day. Over a week? Over a month? That adds up to hours. Hours you gain back. Hours you can spend actually writing more code, tackling harder problems, learning something new, or just, you know, not being frustrated by endless searching. Second, and this is absolutely crucial for writing better code, you get accurate, reliable information. You can finally stop worrying about outdated stack overflow answers that break the moment you try to run them. Context 7 pulls its information directly from official verified documentation sources. This means the examples it gives you are tested and proven to work with the relevant versions. The descriptions are accurate and come straight from the source. Right away, that leads to significantly fewer bugs caused by using something incorrectly, and less time spent painstakingly debugging simple usage errors. You can code with so much more confidence knowing the information you're getting is solid. Third, and for me, this is perhaps the most valuable benefit, you stay in the zone. No more context switching. No minimizing your editor, opening the browser, navigating through tabs, finding your place again. Every time you do that, it's a little mental speed bump that costs you focus. Context 7 lives inside your editor. The documentation and examples you need appear right there, maybe in a side panel or as a quick pop-up, right next to the code you're working on. It removes those micro interruptions that kill your focus and helps you maintain that precious productive coding flow. It's just seamless. Fourth, and this is a massive, massive feature, especially if you work in a team or on any projects with internal code or specific requirements. You can feed Context 7 your own documentation. Got private libraries your team built? Specific internal APIs, company best practices, or just some internal guides that aren't documented anywhere else? No problem. You can upload or connect your documentation to Context 7, and it will help you and your colleagues find information about your internal code base, just like it helps with public frameworks like React or Spring. It stops being just a general reference tool and becomes your team's tailored internal knowledge base, accessible instantly within your editor. And fifth, and it really 
accelerates your learning curve. When you're tackling something completely new, a different framework, a new language, a complex library, instead of getting lost and overwhelmed by the sheer volume of documentation, you can use Context 7 to quickly pull up relevant examples and descriptions as you're experimenting and writing code in the editor. It makes the process of understanding and using new tools much faster, much clearer, and honestly, a lot less intimidating. So that's the core of it. For me, Context 7 isn't just a nice-to-have utility. It's an instrument that fundamentally changes how I approach coding. It strips away the tedious, frustrating parts of finding information, dramatically boosts accuracy, keeps me focused in my editor, and frankly, just makes coding more enjoyable and less stressful. It feels like having a personal expert right there, ready to give me the exact right answer the moment I need it. If you relate to the constant struggle of searching for documentation, if you want to claw back hours of wasted time, reduce bugs, and simply code more effectively and confidently, Context 7 is absolutely something I highly, highly recommend you look into. Seriously, it's a game changer. All right, guys, hope this gave you a really clear idea of what Context 7 MCP is all about and why I'm so genuinely excited about using it. If this sounded helpful to you or if you're also tired of endlessly searching for docs, please smash that like button. It seriously helps the channel out. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss more tips and tools like this. And please, I'd love to know, drop a comment below. How do you typically find documentation when you're coding? Got any clever methods or favorite tools? Share them with me. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.